Nikki and Brie Garcia are all for their sons following in their wrestling footsteps, those two are like this, they are so close, Nikki, 40, exclusively told what's the gossip of the bond between her son Mateo, 3, and her sister Brie's son, Buddy, 3, on Wednesday, May 1, while promoting Polaris International Female Ride Day. So I do think they would be a pretty badass tag team. If the boys did decide they wanted to follow in their mom's wrestling footsteps, they would be supportive of the decision. Brie, 40 dubbed the duo as the Bella Fellas, which is an homage to her and Nikki's former stage name, the Bella Twins. Nikki shares Mateo with husband Artem Chigvintsev. In addition to Buddy, Brie and husband Brian Danielson are the parents of daughter Birdie, Six that I see Buddy and him, like, oh my gosh, he is so his dad and me in ways he has my energy and just the way hell do certain things, Bree shared. But he is my husband's minimi and the way he will wrestle around and hell just do things, Bree added that her son picked up both her and Danielson's enthusiasm for wrestling as he's goofing around at home, the other day he put me in this thing and him like, oh, that's a guillotine. We're not allowed to do that, she said. And it's just incredible, while Brie saw that her son has what it takes to make it in the WWE one day, she could also see those same qualities in her nephew, Mateo, to which Nikki also agreed that he is my fearless side. I have to literally follow him everywhere because he just jumps off things. He goes on things. He has no fear, Nikki explained. And even the other day, one of his teachers was like, We've realized Mateo has a very high pain tolerance. And see I do, too. That's how I broke my neck. Didn't know my neck was dangling and sure there it was, but I've realized that with him and I have to be careful, although Nikki could see her son in the wrestling ring one day, she noted that Mateo also picked up his father's grace and could see him becoming a dancer as well. Bree and Nikki shared that because they were former wrestlers they know how to have a lot of fun with their kids. In addition to goofing around with wrestling moves, the sisters have also taken up other activities with their little ones, including arts and crafts, skiing and ball, we've become ball coaches, so we're coaching our boys team and it kind of made me start to realize how much I like coaching and mentoring young athletes, Nikki told us. I get it, they're 3-5, to five, so I'm trying to fire them up as if they're playing an AD1 game, thank you. You have successfully subscribed, subscribe to newsletter subscribe by signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip deal of the day act fast this Stanley Ice Flow Tumblr is on sale. View deal check our latest news in Google News follow us check our latest news in Apple News follow us you have successfully subscribed. By signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from What's the Gossip Check our latest news in Google News Check our latest news in Apple News While Nikki and Bree spend a lot of time and energy with their families, they also remember to make time for the activities that bring them joy including motorsports. The retired athletes teamed up with Polaris to celebrate International Female Ride Day, which is the first Saturday in May, to empower women power sports riders across the country that we grew up in the desert. We'd always be at the dunes right in our quads. And I just remember even being a young girl and feeling so strong and badass doing this, I remember I entered a race and I won and I was just like, it's always been a part of us, Nikki recalled. So now that this is the fourth year that they are celebrating women who ride, I think it's so important. I think it's really great for women and girls to get behind these powerful, fun vehicles, with reporting by Christina Garibaldi.